Rishi Sanskrit, C -I -A -S -T, C is a Vedic term for an accomplished and enlightened person. Rishis have composed hymns of the Shrutis and Smitas Upanishads, Ramayan and Mahabharat. Post-Vedic tradition of Hinduism regards the Rishis as great sadhus or sages who after intense meditation tapas realized the supreme truth and eternal knowledge, which they composed into hymns. Etymology The word Rishi yogi, phra ruzi, thai, fra vasi may be derived from two different meanings of the root rsh. Sanskrit grammarians derive this word from the second meaning, to go, to move. Vsapte gives this particular meaning and derivation, and Manir Williams also gives the same, with some qualification. Another form of this root means to flow, to move near by flowing. All the meanings and derivations cited above are based upon Sanskrit English dictionary of Manir Williams. Manir Williams also quotes Taranatha, who compiled the great Sanskrit to Sanskrit dictionary named Zati Janina Samsara Param, i.e., one who reaches beyond this mundane world by means of spiritual knowledge. More than a century ago, Manir Williams tentatively suggested a derivation from doctors to see. Manir Williams also quotes the Hibernian Irish form Arsen, a sage, a man old in wisdom, and Arik, old, ancient, aged, as related to Rishi. Manir Williams also conjectures that the root drish to see might have given rise to an obsolete root rish meaning to see. However, the root has a close Avestan cognate Arsis, an ecstatic. See also Eurodivi, Vates. Yet the Indo-European dictionary of Julius Pocorni connects the word to a pi root asterisk h3 rs meaning rise, protrude, in the sense of excellent, and thus cognate with urta and right and asha. In Sanskrit, forms of the root rish become ash in many words, e.g., ash. Modern etymological explanations such as by Manfred Meyerhofer in his etymological dictionary leave the case open, and do not prefer a connection to ars, poor, flow, pi asterisk h1 ers, rather one with German raisin, to be ecstatic, be in a different state of mind, and perhaps Lithuanian arsis. Some of the earliest lists of Rishi are found in Jaiminiya Brahmana verse 2.218 and Brihadaranyaka Upanishad verse 2.2.6. Topic: Seer of the Vedas. In the Vedas, the word denotes an inspired poet of Vedic hymns. In particular, C refers to the authors of the hymns of the Rigveda. Post-Vedic tradition regards the rishis as «sages» or saints, constituting a peculiar class of divine human beings in the early mythical system, as distinct from asuras, devas and mortal men. Swami Vivekananda described «rishi» s as mantra drashtas or «the seers of thought». He told «the truth came to the rishis of India», the mantra drashtas, the seers of thought, and will come to all rishis in the future, not to talkers, not to book swallowers, not to scholars, not to philologists, but to seers of thought. The notable female rishikas who contributed to the composition of the Vedic scriptures are The Rig Veda mentions Romasha, Lopamudra, Apala, Kadru, Visvavara, Gosha, Juhu, Vagamvrini, Paulomi, Yami, Indrani, Savitri, and Devayani. The Sama Veda adds Noda, Akrishtabhasha, Sikartanivavari and Gorpayana. In Mahabharata 12, on the other hand, there is the post-Vedic list of Marichi, Atri, Angaras, Pulaha, Kratu, Palastya and Vashista. The Mahabharata list explicitly refers to the Saptashas of the first Manvantara and not to those of the present Manvantara. Each Manvantara had a unique set of Saptashi. In Harivamsha 417 ff, the names of the rishis of each Manvantara are enumerated. In addition to the Saptasi, there are other classifications of sages. In descending order of precedence, they are Brahmashi, Mahashi, Rajashi. Devasi, Paramsi, Shrutasi and Kandasi are added in Manumriti IV 94 and 11 236 and in two dramas of Kalidasa. 
The Chaturvaga Chintamani of Hemadri puts Risi at the seventh place in the Eightfold Division of Brahmanas. Amarakosha, the famous Sanskrit synonym lexicon compiled by Amarsimha, mentions seven types of rishis: Shrutashi, Kandashi, Paramashi, Mahashi, Rajashi, Brahmashi, and Devashi. Amarakosha strictly distinguishes rishi from other types of sages, such as Sanyasi, Bhiksu, Paravrajaka, Tapasvi, Muni, Brahmachari, Yati, etc. Topic. Rishi in Indonesia and Khmer temples Most medieval-era Hindu temples of Java, Indonesia show Rishi Agastya statues or reliefs, usually guarding the southern side of Shaivite temples. Some examples include Kandi Sambasari and the Prambanan temple near Yogyakarta. Rishi Agastya is known as Phra Riyuzi Akort in Thailand. Ruzi in Cambodia, Thailand, Myanmar and Lao Ruzi Sanskrit, C, Khmer, Thai, Visi Lao, Lu si is a hermit sage, the equivalent of Rishi in India. In Myanmar, there are some known as race. Other uses Rishi is also a male given name, and less commonly a Brahmin last name. In Carnatic music, Rishi is the seventh chakra group of Melakata Ragas. The names of chakras are based on the numbers associated with each name. In this case, there are seven Rishis and hence the seventh chakra is Rishi. The descendant families of these Rishis, refer to their ancestral lineage through their family, Gotra. This is a common practice among the Brahmin sects of the current Hindu society. The name, Rishi, pronounced Ruzi, is also the basis of one of the letters of the Thai alphabet, so Rayu C. Thai S. See also Notes <laughs> <laughs>